So can Michigan save the season? What does that mean? Does that mean can they make a bowl? Does that mean can they make a playoff? Does that mean are they still going to win the Big Ten title because they only have one conference loss? You tell me what saving the season means to you. I think it means make the playoff because that's really all we expected uh, at the beginning of the season, right? As Michigan fans, we've been lied to this whole offseason by this coaching staff, but it's a bi-week look back, and I lied to you as well, okay? I thought Michigan was going to repeat because all the talent coming back, and you cannot deny the talent that Michigan has. Now, quarterback... On the other hand, three have played so far this season. Three have started. No, Tuttle hasn't started yet, but I expect he will next game, even though I think it should be different. Anyway, a bye week look back. What has Michigan done uh, to get to this point? I always knew quarterback matters. If the rest of your team isn't elite, meaning offensive line, wide receiver, tight end, running back, defensive line, linebacker, cornerback, safety, kicker, punter, special teams, all that. That, that means quarterback is very important if you don't have all of that. All right. What we have this year are, you know, the exception of tight end, running backs good, D-line, and kicker. Those are the four out of the however many I just named for you, 10, 11, 12 positions. That means quarterback is very important. And we have Jack Tuttle, Alex Orgy, and Davis Warren on the staff. I do not blame Schroen more for what we have because, well, really I thought Alex Orgy would be the guy and he'd be starting, but it turns out he wanted Tuttle all along, but he was hurt. So I don't understand Sharon more in that aspect, but the, you know, we played in the national title game January 8th. All the quarterbacks were already taken in the transfer portal. They were already taken. So what could he do? I don't blame him for that. But there's other things I can blame him for. Um, Tuttle made progressions in that last game versus Washington. He scrambled as well. But he is unavailable because of injury most of the time. And he turns the ball over. He just did uh, twice in that game. So, plus there is no future for him here. He's a seventh-year senior. So why are we playing this circus? Just put in someone that's going to be here next year. I know the family of um, Jaden Davis doesn't want him to play. They want him to red shirt. That's a bunch of bullshit. You're listening to, if he is good enough, you should be playing him. You're listening to his parents. Let him transfer. Who cares? We, we need him. If he is that good. But uh, that's behind the scenes. I have no idea. My guy, well, let's just say Davis Warren was a turnover machine to start the season, and he's a former walk-on, nowhere near an elite quarterback that will salvage the season. Neither is Alex Orgy. But this coaching staff has done everything it can to not set up Alex Orgy for success. He has a gun for an arm. He can throw the deep ball. Accuracy is an issue for him. But so open it up for him by letting him read a defensive end and run the ball on read options. Have some RPOs for him where he puts the defender in a situation and he can complete a five-yard pass. He can do that. We've seen it. Two rollout tight, uh, touchdowns. Uh, by Alex Orgy. So he can do that. Um, he is the one guy who can run and take a beating. So why not put him in with Mullings and Edwards in, in on, on the run game? 
Sure, you can call it a service academy offense, whatever. I don't care. It is needed for this year. Can none of them can really pass the ball. One guy can do something good, and that is Alex Ward. He could run. So, you know, what is the philosophy? What should it be? The philosophy on offense. It, it run until they stop you. And I've been saying this all season. But they went away from it with Washington. They put in Tuttle. They tried to get cute with Orgy. Triple reverse flea flicker. <laughs> the fuck? Um, so that is not what we need to do. But just, just run. Read options. RPOs. Keep going north and south. Until they have to stop you. And then the one-on-one -on -one is open. Right on the outside. And I think Orgy can overthrow. Maybe our wide receivers can't get the separation, but he can give them a chance. Downfield, it's better to have an interception downfield than it is in the short field. You know, it's like a punt if you have an interception downfield, which helps the defense. Let's talk about that defense. So far, six games into the season by a week. Wink was right. He is not Don Brown. He's worse. He's worse than Don Brown. Brown had top five defenses perennially. With lesser talent sometimes than Wink has this season. It wasn't until he faced elite wide receivers and a good quarterback where his defense faltered, a la Ohio State and the other high-flying offenses of the past. Um, that's where he faltered, wide receivers and an elite quarterback. And, note, and that not many teams have those, so he had, that's why he had good defenses. At no time was Don Brown's defense in the hundreds, though, in categorical statistics. I just watched Michigan Football Live at the Voice of College Football. TJ spit all, out all the statistics, and it's, it's, it's shameful. It's shameful. The scheme that Wink runs fits his name. He's telling you what he's going to do on the defense. Oh, it should be this way, Yep, land here. Pass right here. <laughs> what? I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm a Michigan fan. This, you know, the epitome of, well, what do they say? Comedy comes from tragedy. Well, <clears throat> so all that said, the defense, Wink needs to not put people on islands, not have six man blitzes. Blitz maybe 15% of the time. 23 versus USC, I heard, percent of the time they blitzed. And they won that game. They kept everything in front, forcing the field goals. So, can we do that in the future? I think Michigan can turn things around. I do. The bye week will help this season. Out of that, we're at Illinois, right, who, who kind of scares me because they're a similar team. Ground and pound offense, great defense. They play to their strengths. If Michigan can play to their strengths, they will beat Illinois. All right. I think the talent is there. Defensively, it's not full of NFL players, but damn close. Uh, if Martindale understands that there aren't, it's not all NFL players on his defense. Sometime soon in this season, that will go a long way for Michigan uh, to bounce back from this loss. If Michigan starts orgy and runs over everybody until someone wants to leave a one on one with no safety help for justifiable reasons, unlike 
wink, then the pass game becomes a viable option. Run to set up the pass. We have the running game. Why pass a lot when it's not working <laughs> to set up the run? I don't get it. It's all backwards. If they do those two things, then there's still hope for this season. Go Blue. That's my thoughts. Dependent Fanatic out.